Hey, it's the Magic Town, and um, it's just saying before I start the trick, I'm only going to be, from now on, for a while, I'm only going to be using my red and blue deck. And this is because I took all my decks of cards that was my cousins, because they used to do quite a lot of tricks. And I wanted, and I wanted to ask him, like, it is up in Birmingham, which ain't going up there for a while now. So I wanted to ask him what places I should give away decks of cards, like first place you get certain decks, and so on like that. And like a dumbass, I left them up there. So, I'm going to have to collect them. I don't know when I'm going to be collecting them. But until then, I can only use my red and blue deck. Because I never took these open ones. But, let's see. Let's get on with the trick. Going to have a spectator. I'll show you the tutorial on this trick as well. You have a spectator. Pull out one card they like. Let's say it was the Queen of Diamonds. And I'm going to drop it there. Now we're going to cut the deck once. Then we're going to give the deck a bit of a cut. So what we're going to do then, is we're going to spread out the cards, and your card will jump face up. That's your card. Uh, your card was Queen of Diamonds. Ah, we'll use that as an indicator card then, so we'll go five cards down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here's the tutorial for this trick. It does require a setup. Does. What you're gonna do? You can use any card in the deck. Uh, about a five would be good. Oh, about a five would be good because it's nice, it's medium sort of value. You have place it face down on the bottom of the pack, and you're gonna count off four cards. So that's five. You need five cards. One, two, three, four. So that's five, including that card. So put it like that, and you place it on the bottom. So you should have. So I'm using a five, so it should be one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then, so if you're using if you're using a seven, you need the seven face up and six face down cards. You have to count the face up card. Then you have a spare tape for that card. Careful not to reveal that card like that. You have them pull out one from here. If you don't want to disturb the bottom. You have them remember it. Oh, King of Diamonds this time. Uh, once they've got that card remembered, you have them placed on top of the pack, then you cut it. So you're placing all these cards, like this, on top of it. So now their card is instantly going to be the fifth one down from this. One, two, three, four, and there's their card. But you don't want them to know that, so what you're going to do is you're going to give it a couple of false shuffles. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube, just type in false shuffles get loads. You want to try and be careful not to uh, show that face down card. Yeah, then you're going to spread it out and you're going to say your card's going to jump face up. That's your card. Now you're not supposed to know their card but this is just for the trick. You say, oh it's not your card. Might we'll use that as an indicator card. Then you'll skip that card, that face up card, you'll ignore it from now. So you just ignore it to one side. Then you count down five cards from the next card. So, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Alright, so if you don't, if you have any questions on this trick, please, um, uh, personal message me and I'll help you out with that. Alright, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.